Welcome everyone. Welcome all of the Aries star signs. Uh, this is September 2020. What I've got in front of me, I've already shuffled asking the universe about messages for coming into September. This would be all July and August energies of what you're bringing forward. Um, then what happens in the bulk of the month. And then a final sort of outcome, like where you're going when we get towards the end of September. Hopefully this is nice and positive. Um, over here is sort of the general atmosphere. Now, when I shuffle them, guys, and I ask, what's the general atmosphere for the reading today? Two tarots jumped out instead of one. So I've put them both over there. Now, I've just shuffled these other cards up just to get more information. So these are for the past and the general energy of coming into September, what you're bringing forward. This is what will happen during the month. Hopefully nice things and I forgot to put two on each one uh, silly me okay two three and then the bottom pile which you can't see uh, which I'll move up once I've got more room on the table okay are we ready I wish you all the very best of luck that this is a lovely positive reading and it's everything you're hoping for so first up the general atmosphere of what you're bringing in Wow Love, passion, wishes coming true. This is everything you're hoping for that you're bringing into September. Um, this is sort of like all you're hoping for. If you're hoping for marriage or proposal, it's here. If you're hoping for the cementing of a relationship, it's here. If you're hoping for a pregnancy, there's your nine months, there's your partner. Um, so this is loving. This is beautiful. Um, and it's commitment to the job as well. So we could be very passionate about our work. Okay, you have the sun and the moon opposing each other. So some things are known and you're walking forward. Some things you're just not too sure of. So it's kind of like one bounces out the other. I can't say it's a fully positive reading because the moon's sitting there and I can't say it's a fully negative sort of misunderstanding type reading because the sun's sitting there. So anything that's been remained hidden uh, in regards to a pregnancy or an issue, it's showing me that light is being shone on particular areas. So if this is a loving relationship and you're not too sure, does this person love me? Don't they love me? Uh, should I stay with this person? Um, it's saying yes and everything that you see is correct, but then it's saying there's still a bit of a mystery there. So they're even looking at each other. They could have come out that way, but the sun is looking at the moon. The two faces are looking at each other. And we got the wolf there howling in the mountainside, and then we got the woman holding a hand out like she's creating magic and making everything grow. Um, I'd have to say it's sort of like maybe it's a, a double pregnancy. Maybe it's twins and one's going to be dark and one's going to be light, as in their personality I'm talking about. Um, or you could take it as their hair colouring or whatever. Okay, let's see what atmosphere is coming in, what's residues coming in from the months. Okay, uh, I need an extra card on that because that is a shock at night time. A nice shock. So for you pregnancy guys, maybe you just found out you were pregnant. <laughs> Um, yeah, or maybe you just found out you're having a boy and that's what you're happy about. But yeah, this is nice surprise. There was a nice surprise at night. Hopes and dreams are there, but it didn't happen the way you thought. So maybe if this was a wedding proposal, um, planning a wedding or whatever, maybe you thought it was going to be on top of the Eiffel Tower, but because you couldn't travel, it ended up being down at the local lake <laughs> or the local beach. But it's like your hopes and dreams and your wishes. They're there, but they're not exactly the way you thought they'd be. Um, take that as you will. So what other energies are you bringing through into this month, Aries? Okay, a rocky relationship or lack of commitment there, but there's commitment as far as being responsible for your actions. So this is taking responsibility, but there's also lack of commitment there. It's like something... You're working towards, but you're doing it the right way, but you're also not too sure which way to go with things. Now, in a relationship circumstance, this can make me feel like you're doing everything you can in your power to keep things afloat and make things function. 
um, but you don't feel the other person's committed to the job as well. In a working atmosphere, I'm, I'm seeing more to do with romance and, and relationships and babies and families and all this sort of thing. But here, this could be working two days a week and getting paid six days a week. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Uh, there's something you're cutting off from the past, something you've made your mind up. Uh, I think through August, you've decided to let something go. Someone, something go, um, something you've been holding on to. Maybe it's time to let it all go now. You're, you're not committed to the holding on to this anymore. That's probably why I got the lack of commitment here. And you want to do the right thing. This is making the right choices. Uh, financially, romantically, it, it's it's some, time to let something go. So I feel that coming into the September, you've made your decision or somebody else has made it. Just remember these readings can be reversed, like this is coming from your partner or your other person, whoever it may be, your family member or whatever. Wow, we've got like a payout here as well. Eights are very lucky for you in this reading. Eights, you've got three eights sitting here, and this is lucky. Uh, there was another reading I did earlier where the eights were actually had a negative tone to them, but um, through letting something go, there's some sort of payout. Are you letting go of a job? You, you, and it's all happening around August. We've got the August thing here. Ah, uh, you're worried about the money. You're worried about money that you had to take previous to all of this happening so in July maybe something happened where finances went down maybe what not enough was known so the light's about to shine and help you guide you for the new situation but you're letting go of a financial situation there's some sort of payout here now medically speaking this could be a cesarean birth as well there's something to do with the caesarean here. And I'd have to say that being eights are everywhere here. You've got three eights in this sequence. There's a baby born on the eighth of the month. It's funny because that's coming out in two star signs today about a, a possible date. Um, now, as we move forward, you feel like you can't move forward. This is a, a reluctance to move forward. It can represent incidents at work or in a car. Um, like a, a minor traffic incident, incident or something like that. We have the married woman here. She's upside down on her head. There's some sort of um, battle of words here. Someone wants to keep fighting and the other person wants to walk away. Um, someone wants to keep having hacking at somebody else um, and the other person doesn't want to listen anymore. So I don't know if this is you. You feel like you, you just don't know what to do anymore and you're clamming up or you're trying to get someone else to speak, or you're attacking someone with words. Um, but also be very careful with your, like there's nothing on the ground or someone can trip over because it could be literally that she's on her head, that she's falling over uh, going into September. Let's just get more information. Okay, uh, you had this lack of commitment up here. You've got a diamond ring, which is cementing of a relationship and something being the right way. And then you've got someone divorced. So you've got a new beginning and a divorce. You've got the, it should be this way. Someone gets divorced and then someone gets married, but it's that way. So it's already starting to commit to someone, but the divorce or the separation hasn't happened yet. There's still sort of some sort of commitment issue going on there. Um, eight again, we got another eight. We got double eight pentacles. This time it's showing upside down. So that's saving for your future. You're having to tap into some money for your future. Now, this might be all about business, and we got fives here, and you feel like the business has gone south. Um, you're not sure what to do about the business. Close the business, keep going. Maybe this is where this, it's emotional, but it's also financial decision here. And there's some sort of selling up shop or paying out um, as you come into this. And this would be your fears and your worries of moving forward. Um, this would then be the document the money wasn't what you expected or um, you've had to tap into too much money here. With relationships, it's sort of like you're worried about the other person's commitment to you. Here we've got a male showing up now. He's the truth teller. He wants everything yesterday, um, but he's not very structured. He's four, four of swords, you might call that, but to me that's four of spades. We're learning a lesson from the past. Um, Two and four like that is divorce cards normally. It's a separation. So this man, he could be a police officer. He could be um, a lawyer. He could be military. He wears a uniform. He could even be a security guard. Um, he follows the rules or whatever. Um, 
you got sex with this person. This is sex and fertility and enjoyment and friendship and love. Um, maybe he's getting divorced. Maybe this is you're watching this about some guy you're involved with and you're wanting him. Um, or maybe he's the Aries um, and you're looking at his star sign. Uh, there's a baby thing here, though. There's a baby thing at the same time. So there may be some legal battle going on around children. I feel it's a boy. It's something to do with a boy child here. Um, I feel in the middle of um, September, you've, you've got bright ideas of what to do with finances, but you kind of feel stuck. It's like you want this person to help you and you're, you're on your head or over here if this is you or... You might be a cross watcher and you're looking at your boyfriend's cards or you're looking at thing. And if you're looking at your boyfriend and he is married at the moment, um, there's his wife sitting there. She's going through a bit of sorrow and pain with all of this, but he's, I think he's making the decision that that's it. Uh, he wants to move forward. We'll just see towards the end of the month if that changes up a bit. Okay, we've got the learning lessons and things being new. You've got news that makes you happy. Um, are you taking on a new course? The fours can be you used to work in a particular type of field and you're changing up what you do and you're going to be much happier. Um, there's some sort of news here. This could be news love related. It could be news about a new job, a new business opportunity. Uh, let's have a look, more information. Yeah, there's something that you're cutting off. This is another eight, guys. You've got more eights than the Aquarians had. Uh, one, two, three, four. No, hang on. I thought there was another one. No, you've got four eights. Or is this an eight as well? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five eights. The Aquarians had all the eights as well, but they had all the black eights. This is your black eight here. This is where you've had enough of something. Um... Now, two fours, that can be someone going behind the scenes and seeing somebody else. Now, I'm not seeing sexual cards as yet. We still got a couple to turn, but I'm just seeing somebody that's talking behind the scenes and the eights would be the communication. But it's actually in a good way apart from this one. This is like, I'm just over this. I need the situation to change. But yeah, the double fours, one come out there, one come out over here. I do have to mention that that can be someone's going behind the scenes and talking about a certain thing that they shouldn't be talking about. So, okay, why is that flashing? I don't know, I'll get this finished. Um, okay, we've got movement in the right direction with your love life, with your health. You've got the soulmate sitting there at the end of September. This is your wishes coming true, guys. Um, what else? You have to have patience for this all to happen. So slow it down, slow and steady wins the race. And your last two cards, after an ending, your heart is overflowing. And this would match with the very beginning. There is something secret or something that is all not known. It looks like it's going to get revealed through the month and things are going to come to light. Um, there is an ending followed by a new beginning because that is like a marriage card there. And there we got the marriage card again. It's not happening yet. It's not like this person gets divorced and then they're straight into your arms into a marriage. But it's the hope for the future. Hopefully in your next reading, this turns around. Um, and that's two people coming together in a marriage. So that's it for Aries. I hope that made sense. As in regards to pregnancies and health and all that sort of thing, it does look like there may be a surgery of some kind, um, a painful surgery, but it will all be okay. We've got the Ten of Hearts here showing me everything will be okay. So that's it, guys. I hope wherever you are that you're doing well and until next time.